joined uh, by Sienna coach Allie Jacks and uh, her player Kelly Booth. Kelsey. God, Kelsey. I'm sorry, Kelsey. My, my bad. Um, coach, uh, would you like to make an opening statement? Sure. Um, really proud of our team's effort in this tournament. Uh, it's been a up and down season for us at times, but to come in, I think we played the best game of our year yesterday. I thought we had some moments today where we really competed. Marist, I think Marist is, I mean, their record speaks for itself. They're, they're top to bottom, one of the toughest teams, you know, honestly, on any level that I've coached. Um, they just put it all together and, and they play really hard and they've got seniors and they get it and Brian does a great job, so give them a lot of credit. I think their defense is tremendous. Honestly, for us to score 65 points today, that was hard. They're a very good defensive team, um, so give Marist a lot of credit. But, um, you know, it, it's always tough when that's it and the season's over and what do you do tomorrow? Um, but I know that I got a player sitting next to me who's going to be going into her senior year who worked harder than anybody on our team did and in the past summer um, and really didn't play that much my first year here at Siena, but has proven that in the short time we've been together, she's become one of our most dependable players, and I'm really proud of her. And she's not done. She's got one year to go. And I think that our seniors coming back, I'm excited about them. I thought Ida, T. Coles, and uh, Kelsey really proved towards down the stretch of the season that they can handle it. I'm um, looking forward to the future. Um, thankful to our seniors for what they did for the program over four years. Um, but I'm, I'm excited about the future of our program. Questions? Coach, you talked a little bit, bit about Kelsey, but with 13 points, 13 rebounds, can you just kind of take a look at how her game has evolved this year and kind of where she is right now? Well, she wears the best number ever. 44 is the greatest number ever, right? <laughs> um, she does it proud. Uh, Kelsey, you know, last year was very frustrating for Kelsey, and she had a had a kind of a breaking point this spring, and and you know, it was you know, what what are you going to do for your final two years? And Kelsey got in the gym every single day, and Kelsey, you know really you know changed her body and became really fit and she became a rebounding threat she became a three-point threat but more than any of that because she was so invested and because she worked as hard as she did through all the trials that we had this season she was our most positive you know always the first one cheering for somebody else um, always brought great energy to practice and when you're struggling like our team struggled this year at times it's really hard to do that but I think because of how she invested, she had no choice. And our team really followed that leadership. So I'm really proud of her. Coach, do you think playing two, ga two games in two days help or hurt your team? Um, well, I wanted to play today. So I thought it helped us that we won yesterday. Um, <laughs> sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. Um, you know, I, who cares? It's tournament time. You know, it, like you got you got a win or you go home. You know, that's it. Um, you know, I don't I don't think it helped to hurt. Clearly, you know, we had nine people stretching and they had fourteen, so that's different. Um, you know, our roster's been depleted all year. We've had injuries. We've had a few departures from our roster. Um, you know, we had a player who went to class yesterday as a senior, um, so. You know, uh, but I know the nine kids that we had on the bench um, were committed and gave everything they could. And, uh, you know, we played a deep, you know, throughout the season, we've, we played at one point, we, what, we play 11 people double digit minutes before we had some injuries. So I don't know if it helped us or hurt us. I mean, we played so well yesterday. We got a lot of people in and out. Um, yeah, I think there was enough time between yesterday morning and today to recover. I don't think that necessarily had an effect. Marist is really good. Allie, as, as even Brian George has pointed out, you played a number of teams tough in the league this year, including Iona. But what is it, not Marist, though, what is it about them that's a particularly difficult matchup from your, from your point of view? Well, I don't think their defense gets enough credit. And we struggled to score at times. Um, they're, they're tough to score on. They're big, they're physical, they're strong. I don't know what they're doing in the weight room. We need to do that, okay? Because 
they just churn out they, they churn out and they're and they're well coached and Brian they they play like Brian you know great head coaches like Brian George their teams embody who they are they're meticulous they're precise they don't turn the ball over they make open shots if you they get an open shot it's going in you might as well just get the three point rebound and take it out and go the other way because they're just conditioned to play that way he does a tremendous job um you know they're just a really really tough matchup um and I and our team has struggled to score at times, and um, you know when you play against a great defensive team and you struggle to score, um, you know they can really put you away. Kelsey, does the win over Manhattan uh, send you into the off season with a good taste in your mouth, even though you lost this game, or how do you feel about the team, you know, heading into the off season? I think so. I think everybody was really happy and really proud of the way we finally were able to come together yesterday and play the way that we should have all year. We should have played that way all year. And we've struggled so much, and it just feels so great to know that that's what we can do, and that's what we will do next year. Allie, uh, as a coach, what does your team have to do to catch up to what Georges is doing? That. <laughs> and my staff needs to go recruiting, which we do, because um, we don't have enough bodies, and we have. I'm really excited about the players we've got committed coming in next year. We're not done yet. It takes time to rebuild, um, but that right there is what makes this kid special. You were still kind of hanging around down ten, I think, after Kenny got that three. Uh, where do you think? Where do you think the game got away in particular? The end of the first half hurt. We were down ten, and and I said in the huddle, I think I said, you know, let's cut this thing to six by halftime. And stop, score, stop. You know, get a couple stocks, and and it got to I think it was seventeen at half, and that hurts. You know, when you come out of the locker room, and and we were down nineteen to them at their place, and managed to come back and cut it to one. Um, we were a different team last year than we are this year. Um, and they were too, obviously. But at the end of the first half, that little mini run they went on, I, it was te I think it was a 10-point game, and they won a 7-0 run to end the half. That hurt. Other questions? Okay, thanks very much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Go Saints.